it's time for another color of the year again. So the year 2020 is just around the corner and that means it's time for lots of paint companies and color marketing experts to make their choice for the new color of the upcoming year. In fact, just a few weeks ago, I brought to you a video about Benjamin Moore's choice for color of the year for 2020. And it was pink. And many of you commented on how much you love the pink color. And also many of you commented on how much you disliked the pink color. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, be sure to check out that video. I'll link to it below and make sure to let me know your comments. Love or hate, I'm okay with either. And to those who hated Benjamin Moore's choice, hate is such a strong word. Don't fret because that's why we're here today. Pantone has now weighed in with their choice. And you know what? Some might say it's the opposite of pink. Classic blue. Pantone's color of the year tends to go on and influence product development and purchasing decisions in multiple industries, including fashion, home furnishings, and industrial design, as well as product packaging and graphic design. So be on the lookout for all those areas where classic blue might come up. But us interior design lovers want to know how to use this new color in our homes. So let's get started. First of all, classic blue is deep and dark and pure. Pantone says it's timeless and enduring, elegant in its simplicity. Personally, I'm not a big fan of wishy-washy blues. I want a blue that makes a statement and holds my attention. Classic blue does that. It's powerful, it's purposeful, and it's a strong blue. If you've got lots of antiques or lots of wood in medium brown tones, this color will make them all sing. I love the warm contrast of the wood with the dark backdrop. It will make all your wood pieces stand out. So if you've got a beautiful antique console, consider this classic blue as a feature behind it. Blue bedrooms are soothing and comforting. Perfect for a good night's sleep. Definitely consider classic blue for your bedroom. I love the look of white wainscoting paired with a deep dark blue paint color above. It's a great way to make your room cozy, but not dark. And don't forget, the color of the year can be injected in ways other than just paint. Here, blue wallpaper above the wainscoting, and of course, that fabulous blue fabric on the chair. And here, this mostly white interior just sings with classic blue accents. Imagine this deep, dark color as the central accent focus of an otherwise all-white kitchen. I love that this blue is dark enough to make it a neutral, but blue enough to add just the right amount of color. It's a classic kitchen with a classic blue island. And if you don't have an island, consider a two-toned kitchen with lower cabinets painted in this deep blue color. Speaking of more classics, if you're loving Pantone's classic blue, then you may want to start collecting beautiful blue and white ceramics. They always look so beautiful and I love displaying them in groups like this. They look beautiful all year round too. Now let's say you're into a little bit more color, not just blue and white. Here are some new color palettes that you might want to consider pairing with classic blue. First off, whoever said that blue and green should never be seen should think again. Blue and green together is a great combination for your home. Here are some examples. I'm green with envy over this interior. The blue and green combination pairs well with white and black and gold accents. Think of throw pillows, intense blue paired with vivid green. And here, muted blue with muted green. Another color that pairs beautifully with classic blue is orange. They're opposite to each other on the color wheel, which means they offset one another perfectly and evenly. And this is called a complementary combination. See how that orange chair is just as strong as the blue walls and built-ins in behind? And again, you don't have to go all out with paint. Color palettes can be interpreted through fabric and area rugs. 
blue and orange a classic complementary combination. That's what using opposite colors on the color wheel does. It's pure excitement. And finally, I love the look of classic blue paired with soft pinks and purples. Yes, Dusty Rose is back. This mix of pink hues and dark blue walls makes these bedrooms cozy and inviting. You may even want to throw in some of Benjamin Moore's color of the year in here too. Again, check the link below. Plus, I have a few other past color of the year videos you might want to see as well. So here's your takeaway. If ever there was a color of the year that you should incorporate into your home, Pantone's classic blue might be the perfect choice. Why? Because it's a timeless and enduring hue. It's classic with white wainscoting and blue and white ceramics. Pair it with orange for a classic complementary combination. And yes, blue and green should definitely be seen. Classic blue is just that, classic. Thanks for watching this little design tip. We'll have lots more design tips just like this one coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. If you're loving this year's color of the year, classic blue, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you soon.